Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing swell. Uh, today's video will be covering the catalog again and how we can properly set it up. So when you open Zoner Photo Studio on your computer, it's uh, by default set up to suit a kind of wide or general audience and general photographer's needs. But we can of course customize that or change that. And in today's case, uh, we'll be covering the how it arranges or sorts uh, the various folders we have our images in. And so in today's video, we'll be going over just that. Okay, so after you install and run Zoner Photo Studio for the first time, you'll find the pictures folder in the catalog. Um, you don't have to always use this folder when storing photos on your computer though, and you can add any folder you choose instead. For example, I have this folder here with some of my raw files, and if I wanna have it in the catalog, I simply click and drag it onto the folder view folder within the catalog. Uh, notice that there's text that appears when I'm hovering above it, and it says add folder to catalog. Um, I'll let it go, and notice it just appeared within the catalog itself. So we can also add folders to the catalog by clicking this small folder here with the plus sign. Once you have your folders moved into the catalog, it's a good idea to set up and define the way the catalog works with them. To move to the catalog preferences, click on this sprocket looking wheel thing. Notice the new window that's opened, which will allow us to play around with the settings. Up here you can see the folders that we already have in our catalog. And over here notice the drop down menu that defines how the catalog will address the photographs in each folder. And we've got four options. Perform catalog only, preload developed fast previews, preload smart RAWs, and preload one-to-one -one smart RAWs. Huh? Okay, so the first option, perform cataloging only. This means that the catalog will preload all of the information about the photos in the folder, but only the thumbnail versions of the pictures from the visual data itself. This option is best for your folders that contain photographs, which you won't be editing much, or you still plan on sorting and deleting them. It doesn't make much sense to upload large previews and then just take them and throw them into the garbage bin. Next up is preload developed fast previews. This is the default setting in Zoner Photo Studio and is in most cases enough for your standard photo editing activities. So if you've already developed a photograph, this will allow you to preload fast previews. Option number three, is preload smart RAWs. This is useful for folders where you have raw images and you want to work with them faster. I'd like to show you also how you can turn this option on another way. Each folder in the catalog here in the navigator has a lightning bolt and when you click on it you activate the preload smart RAW option we just mentioned. And of course so your smart RAWs will preload. Be careful though, as this lightning bolt only works as a one-off, and that's the difference between this option here and when you select it or activate it in the catalog preferences. Another difference is that you'll find it next to other folders down here, for example, which don't even need to be a part of the catalog. Nonetheless, if you have a folder in the catalog with the option of preload smart RAWs selected, each additional raw image you place there will automatically be subject to the rule without the need of additionally clicking on the lightning bolt. When I click on this bolt now to preload my smart raw images, we'll get an alert window here that states that the preloading of the folder previews are being generated. Notice that it contain Notice that it takes some time, which of course depends on how much data is in each particular folder. You can also click on full performance, but take into account that it'll take up most of your processor's power and that other apps you might have running in the background uh, will slow down or might even stop working altogether just depending on the processing power of your computer. All right, I'll hit OK and return to the catalog preferences and take a look at another trick that Zoner Photo Studio offers, and that's preloading previews for offline use. Let's say you've got some photos on your external hard drive and you turn on this option. You'll still see their previews in Zoner Photo Studio even though the external isn't plugged in at all. 
Then you can plug your external when you want to actually have access to the photographs for your editing, etc. And to the last option, preload one-to-one -one Smart RAWs. Loading full one-to-one -one previews means that besides loading Smart RAWs, Zonar Photo Studio will generate a preview that is of the same resolution as the original image. And this comes in especially handy when you're sorting through your photos before you open them in the develop module for editing. Furthermore, there's no color adjustments when switching between models, and you'll always be viewing the same developed raw image. And those are the main settings in the catalog in Zonar Photo Studio. If there's something we covered that you need a broader explanation on, feel free to write below. We'll get to you as soon as we can. And otherwise, I hope it was useful for you. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Thanks for your support. And take it easy. See you later.